Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. We're about to decorate for Christmas. If you saw my last vlog, my brother was here this past week. He just left this morning. I cleaned my entire apartment, took down all of my fall decor, and I got all the Christmas stuff behind me and I'm really excited. Last night we were in Target and I just kind of like poked around and I got a couple Christmas decor items. I also got some Christmas scented candles from Bath and Body Works over the weekend. I brought out my bin of extra hand soaps and then I have my bin of Christmas decor that I already had. Last year I moved into this apartment like two weeks before Christmas and it was a huge move. I moved from Pennsylvania to North Carolina and it was just a lot. Like I had a lot to unpack and organize so I didn't even bother decorating for Christmas. So it's been two years since I've seen what's in here and I honestly don't remember at all. So this is gonna be exciting. And I got the fireplace crackling on the TV to set the ambiance. So let's see what we got in here. This Christmas tree sign, which I believe is from Michael's. This sign that I think is also from Michael's. I also have like my wrapping stuff. So like Christmas, extra Christmas bags and bows and tags and stuff like that. My Nutcracker, oh so cute, from 2020, which was like a pretty <laughs> monumental year, I feel like, for the whole world. But for me, personally, that was the year that I moved into my first apartment completely by myself. It was the first time that I was just living on my own, no boyfriend, no roommate. And it was really exciting and a big deal, so... I wanted to make sure I got something with the year on it. I got another thing with 2022 on it to mark the year of when I moved here to North Carolina because that is another huge deal. I'll show you that when we get to it. Oh, I totally forgot about this. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. This I think was from Target from like the little $5 section in the front. And I have this garland that lights up. I think this was from Walmart. This blanket, just so cozy. Ooh, I forgot about this. I have this white glittery garland that was from Walmart. Have some ornaments and then my star tree topper. I don't know if I'm gonna put a tree up this year to be honest. We'll see how I feel with all the decorations up if I feel like I want it. My apartment is just so small and the tree I have, I do have it in my storage closet here, but the tree that I have is quite big and I just feel like it would be too cluttered. Like I would have to move things around in order to make a spot for it. So. I just don't even know if it's gonna be worth it. So, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but then I have these glittery trees that I think were from Walmart. I got two red ones, exact same thing. Ooh, this one got a little <laughs> bent up. There's this Noel sign that I think was from Michaels, either Michaels or Walmart. And then I have two of these green pillows, throw pillows, that will go on the couch. And that's it, everything else that's in here is just like more Christmas tree ornaments. And then as far as the new stuff that I bought from Target last night, cute wrapping paper. I got this branch. I'll show you where this is gonna go. This is from Hearth and Hand. Then I got this little baby tree. I also got this black velvet reindeer, which I think is so cool looking. Also got this Christmas pillow. I love, they had a bunch of this kind of style, like a more traditional vintage 
kind of Christmas style. And then I got this snow globe that plays music. And it has the year on it. Even though technically I moved into this apartment in 2021, it was December. So like 2022 really was like the first full year that I lived here. And then I got this candle that's in the scent Fireside Glow, which smells really, really good. But I thought that the packaging was really beautiful and would make for nice decor as well. I feel like this is what happened when I was decorating for fall too. I felt like I had so much more stuff than I actually do, but I do have a pretty small apartment. So we are going to just put this stuff out, see how it looks, and if I feel like I need a little more to add, we can always go out and get some more stuff. But I'm gonna start with what I have for now. And I'm gonna play some Christmas music while I do this, uh, and I don't wanna get copyrighted, so we're gonna do a time lapse. Alexa, play Christmas music. Classic holiday station from Apple Music. Close the blinds so that hopefully you can see it a little bit better. I put my Christmas pillow over here. I originally had the blanket on the chair, but I kind of like how it looks falling out of the basket. Then up here, I put that Christmas tree sign and one of the glittery trees. I definitely feel like it's missing something, like something a little bit shorter to put right there. Down here, I feel like, I don't know, this is cute. I'm happy with how it looks. I feel like I could maybe put something on that side. But that little pine branch I stuck in that vase. I always have something, like some kind of little branch of something sticking out of there. And I've been changing it out depending on the season. Then on the coffee table, I put another glittery tree. They all got a little <laughs> bent and uh, fucked up looking. Eh, that's okay. <laughs> then on the bar cart, I had all of this glittery garland and I didn't know what to do with it. I was gonna wrap it around the front door, but then I thought, oh, let me kind of glitz out the bar cart and make that look Christmassy. I can't decide if I think it's like cute, Christmassy, glitzy, or like ugly and stupid. And then I put another glittery tree up there. Don't mind the laundry back there. I'm in the process of washing a bunch of stuff. Um, then up here on the kitchen island, I put more of that garland around this tray. This little tree I put up here, this too, I've been swapping out. Like I always keep some kind of little something. I normally have a faux snake plant the rest of the year. And then for the fall, I had like my little arrangement of faux leaves now this and i think that's cute on top of the stove i put the noel sign by my coffee machine i got the nutcracker and then in my bedroom again i'm washing all my bed sheets don't mind that i wasn't sure if i wanted to like fully decorate in here so i put the reindeer another glittery tree and that small candle in here. I think that is everything. Oh, and the couch. I put those green pillows on here and the 
have yourself a merry little Christmas pillow. So yeah, I don't know. I did take my tree out just to see. So it's definitely too wide to fit over here. Cause I was thinking like that corner might be nice. I could push my couch over a little bit, but then I have this stuff here and then that would be sticking out into like the walkway here. And either way, I just feel like it would be really cramped back there and it would be too close to the couch. Or I was thinking I could put the tree over here. I was thinking that I could just put in the corner over here in the meantime and then the tree could just have that whole corner but then i have no idea where i would put the chair because i feel like anywhere else that i tried to squeeze it would be way too cluttered the tree otherwise could just go there in the hallway but i feel like then it would block the door to the bathroom if it was here like definitely would block the door to the bathroom all right i decided i'm just gonna order a new christmas tree and just get a narrow one and i'm gonna put it in that corner because i feel like that's the best thing and i was measuring to make sure it would fit there and it will so that stool and i have my mic stand for when i record um that i can just move somewhere else and i can put the plant in my bedroom Remember a few vlogs ago when I was saying that I wanted to cut my hair? I am so glad that I didn't act on impulse because now I am back to loving my long hair and I'm just so glad I didn't end up cutting it. Anyway, hello, good afternoon. It's Tuesday. I've had like a really lazy morning because I got all of my computer work done yesterday. So today I just kind of like took the day off and I've just been watching a bunch of YouTube videos, which was so nice. But now that I have to get up and get ready for work, I just feel so lazy. And I was like starting to feel sleepy because I was just laying around and it's gloomy out. Sometimes it's really nice to rest. But if I have somewhere to be or things to do, it's almost better if I just like get up and start doing stuff first thing in the morning. Like I have to go grocery shopping and I was going to go earlier today before work, but I just was, I don't know, feeling lazy. I didn't feel like it. And I was like, yeah, I can just go after work on my way home. And now I'm just kind of wishing that I would have just went earlier because if I was already like up and out, I don't think I would feel like as lazy and tired as I do now. Anyway, I had added a couple waves to my hair yesterday, but I'm just touching them up a little bit. I just do like one twist, pull it down, and then right when I get to the end, I like untwist and pull it down so that the ends come out straight. I feel like that gives it like more of a beachy look but it also i think makes my hair look longer and fuller when the ends are straight because it like emphasizes the blunt cut that i have good enough i'm gonna go get dressed here's the outfit i'm wearing today which I just threw together last minute and I feel pretty cute. You know when you're like, oh, okay, I'll wear these things together and you're envisioning it one way in your head and then when you actually put it on, you're like, oh, that is not what I was expecting. That does not look good. This actually worked out. So this sweater, I think actually it's supposed to be like an off the shoulder kind of thing. Yeah, I don't know. This is from Abercrombie. My friend Julia that I do my podcast with bought it actually for herself and I think it was like, I don't know, she just didn't really like it or it was too small or something. And then this skirt is from Target. And then my cowboy boots that are from Altered State, which I love so much. Keeping it simple with jewelry. I've been doing this necklace combo a lot lately. They are both from Ana Luisa, as are all of my earrings. I'm gonna take Benny out to use the bathroom really quick and then head to work. I'll catch up with you later. Good morning. It's not even 7 a.m. yet. I feel 
weirdly awake despite feeling like my body is still tired and asleep. I feel like my face looks really tired, but like mentally I am awake and ready to start this day. It is the day before Thanksgiving. I feel like the last work day or school day, like right before a holiday, is always exciting, you know? I think pretty much everyone is traveling out of town for Thanksgiving, except for me. I'm staying here. I was contemplating if I should go home for Thanksgiving or not, but I knew I wanted to go for Christmas. So I felt like it was too much to do, like too much driving back and forth for myself. And obviously I have to bring Benny with me, so flying isn't an option. I was like, eh, I really don't want to do that nine hour drive. Especially because I feel like Thanksgiving isn't as big of a holiday. At least not in my family, like we don't do anything. I mean, we don't really do anything special for Christmas either, but I just feel like Christmas you kind of get like a double whammy because then New Year's is right after. So yeah, for me, it just made more sense. I'd rather go for Christmas than Thanksgiving, and I felt like there was no point in going for both, because it is a pretty far drive, and yeah. So, staying here for Thanksgiving by myself. I don't have any plans, but honestly, I'm cool with that. I'm taking two weeks off around Christmas time from work and everything. Like, I am gonna completely unplug and just enjoy time with my family. So, I will hold down the fort here and I'll work at the salon. A lot of my coworkers did invite me over to their house, which I thought was very nice, but it's like, no, honestly, it's gonna be my only day off to just stay home. Here's what I'm wearing. I'm sorry that the lighting sucks. As you can see, it's still pretty dark outside, but I am so excited about this outfit because I love these pants. I just got them at Target. They are just the comfiest, stretchiest pants. And like, look at this beautiful velvet. And then these shoes, like a pointed mule little heel are also from Target. I got them a few years ago. And then I'm wearing a silky button-up blouse from Lily Silk. I feel like a freaking greasy mess. My feet are freaking sweaty and hurting. It's five o'clock. I just left work. It was a crazy day just like I predicted it to be so I didn't get a chance to vlog anything at all because it was just non-stop and it's amazing like I have been doing hair and working in salons now for like five years over five years and like it still blows my mind when people call in the day before a holiday looking to get an appointment that same day. I'm like, what planet are you living on? Where, like, you think we're just sitting around? I was hoping that I was gonna be out of there by like 4.15 at the latest, and then everyone ended up running a little bit behind. Okay, I am back home. This is looking like kind of fogged up. So this is Thanksgiving single person edition. But I did want to get a couple like traditional Thanksgiving type things to make for tomorrow because like why not? But obviously I'm not gonna like make these big homemade meals because it's just me and there's no way I'm gonna be able to eat it all. So I have some frozen mac and cheese single serving from Trader Joe's. This stuff is so good. Then I just went to Walmart and I got this little ham because I'm not really a big turkey person. I also got some green beans. I got crescent rolls, which I'm surprised they were fully stocked. I thought they were going to be wiped out. I also got a sweet potato, which I'll probably just have a little bit of, but I mostly got it for Benny. That's a little treat for him. Stuffing. I got 
this pack of two slices of cookies and cream pie. It's a perfect thing if you're a single person and you want some pie, but you don't wanna have an entire pie. Oh, also, the new Christmas tree that I ordered arrived today. I am in love. I definitely need to play around with the branches and spread them out a little bit more, but I just wanted to put it together just to see what it would look like. And it is perfect. It's the perfect height, perfect size. It fits so well in that corner. And the quality is so good. Like it looks so high quality. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to decorate it because I am just too tired tonight and I just, I'd rather do it when I have the energy and I'm like excited to do it rather than forcing myself to do it tonight. I actually ended up ordering this one from Walmart because that one I was showing you from Amazon, the earliest it was going to arrive was like middle to end of next week. But this one from Walmart literally came in less than 48 hours and it was a couple dollars cheaper too. I will put a link to this one specifically in the description. I'm gonna wash my face now. I started watching The Sex Lives of College Girls season two. I'm excited. I really, really enjoyed this show. I watched it last year when I first moved in and I didn't have a couch at the time. I don't even think I had my bed yet. And I just remember sitting on the floor in this living room on my air mattress watching this show. It's just crazy how it's almost a whole year later. So yeah, I'm gonna watch a little bit of that and then go to bed because I am very tired. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, I'm looking rough. I need to hop in the shower and wash my hair, but it's Thanksgiving morning. I think definitely putting the tree up made all the difference. I'm so glad that I ended up just buying another tree. And I love this one. I think this is one of the most beautiful trees I've ever seen. By far my favorite tree that I have ever had. All of the round ornaments that I had were from Target from years ago. And then I had these gold pine cone ornaments from Walmart. I think I'd like to just get like one pack of red ornaments just to sprinkle throughout to give it a little bit more of a pop. I'm just gonna have some breakfast, eventually take a shower, and then I will catch up with you when I'm ready to make my Thanksgiving dinner, which I'm probably gonna make it kind of early because I don't want to make like a separate lunch. So I think I'll just make everything around lunchtime and then I'll just have a second helping for dinner later if I'm hungry. Okay, it's literally 1.30 and I'm getting hungry already. So I'm gonna start cooking and I'm doing a face mask. I just got out of the shower. This is the Origins Rose Clay mask that I have been doing on the reg lately. Here is everything I'm gonna be making and then I have the mac and cheese in the freezer. I have a sweet potato in the oven for Benny and I hear my mom video chatting me so hi. Oh my god you look so beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Just got off the phone with my mom. Got the crescent rolls, 
ham slices, green beans, mac and cheese, and stuffing. The sweet potato is still in the oven. I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day watching movies. My favorite kind of day. Hello, good morning. It's raining outside, so it's really dark in my apartment. It is currently the day after Thanksgiving, AKA Black Friday. I have to go to work today. I don't have any clients, and actually no one is gonna be at the salon. I'm just gonna be there to answer the phone and do gift cards because the salon is running a Black Friday special that's only running for today. So someone needs to be there to do the gift card purchases. It's like a, you know, every hundred dollars you put on a gift card, you get an extra $20. So that's what I'm doing today. And I am going to bring Benny with me. He's just waiting by the door. He's like, all right, um, you got dressed 10 minutes ago. Why aren't we leaving yet? I will see you later. Oh my god. Okay. He's excited. He's ready to go. I'll see you later. I will maybe vlog a little bit at the salon if it's not too crazy. Good morning. It's only 7.30, but I've been up since 6. For whatever reason, my body just naturally got up at 6 this morning. It feels way later than it is, which is a good thing. I don't usually feel this awake at 7.30. Especially considering I went to bed at like midnight. But I am currently getting ready to go to work. Only the massage therapist is gonna be in today, and I think she just has one client in the morning. Then later this morning, I have a client for hair. Here's my outfit for the day. These faux leather pants are Zara. Shoes are Target. Top is Nike, and denim jacket is also Zara. But after work, I need to go to Target because it is my coworker's birthday today and she invited me and a few people out to celebrate, get some drinks. So I just wanna get her like a little something and then I'm gonna come back here, put a little makeup on, probably keep the same outfit on. I'm gonna take Benny for a walk and then head to work. I've been putting this fireplace on YouTube just makes it so cozy. I'll see you later. Here completely alone, which is like kind of cool but like also kind of creepy. Let's go downstairs and get the laundry going before I start doing anything else. Prepped this from yesterday, already put a pot in. Boom. And this stuff is dry. From yesterday, started this before I left. Still alone out here. There is someone here getting a massage, but like in the back spa area, so they can't hear anything out here. I've been just doing laundry. There's almost nothing dirty left, which is pretty amazing because this freaking salon is huge. There's a whole spa area too. So like there's constantly laundry. So to have it at a point where there's almost nothing, like not a single piece of dirty laundry in this place, 
is amazing and I've just been doing like some front desk computer things that we needed to do. I got my station area set up for when my client gets here, so that's all good. What I've been doing now is we have all these products. They sell Lanza here, like that's what they use for their shampoo and their styling products. And they have these holiday bundles. We got a shit ton and she wanted majority of them wrapped with bows to look all cute. And then she wants to keep some unwrapped to put in front of the wrapped one so that people can actually see like what comes in each thing and they can see, you know, what is in there. But it's been a freaking process. And she said that they always sell super well, which I'm sure they will. Um, great gift idea. And I know people here like do buy retail like crazy. So it'll definitely be worth it. But it's been a freaking process. We started getting these a few weeks ago and when they would come in, we had to get them in the system, give them all a name, set the price point, add the tax, etc., and then like separate and organize them and then set aside the ones that needed to be wrapped versus the ones that are saying unwrapped. Then we had to print the little labels to put on them so that way when we are checking people out, we know what it's called in the system. And then we had to actually wrap the gifts. And I finished the last few of those yesterday. So now what I've been doing is just putting the price stickers on the ones that are staying unwrapped. So these are all of the ones that are done. This pile here is what I have left. I need to make more stickers. That's what I'm gonna do. We have this label maker, so I am going to just make the last few tags for those, and then this will finally all be done. It is almost 10 o'clock. My client's supposed to come at 11, and then, I don't know, all else I really need to do is vacuum. So hopefully I can get all that stuff done before my client gets here, then I can just do her hair, and as soon as I'm done, just leave. So my client came in with a grown out blonde balayage and she wanted to just do a gloss to temporarily tone it down, make it a little bit darker and kind of match it up to her natural color as much as possible. So I did equal parts 7NW with 6N, Redken Shades EQ, let it process for the full 20 minutes. And this was her final hair. It was super easy. We just did a gloss, no haircut or anything. Back to just me at the salon. It's like creepily quiet in here. But I just finished my client. She said that she's like just sick of the blonde and she kind of wants to go darker. And she's done like a darker gloss in the past as like a temporary solution. So she just wanted to do that again and just blew it out and styled it. It was pretty quick and easy. And then we talked about doing her hair in the future and she booked a future appointment, which is very exciting. And we are going to add some TZ lights to bring the balayage up a little higher, keep the dimension, but make it a darker color. Still super low maintenance, but with some dimension so that her hair, you know, doesn't just feel like blah and flat so that'll be fun and she was so nice we had a great conversation she was easy to talk to it's many hours later i'm about to go out for my co-worker's birthday put a little bit of makeup on and i'm wearing the same outfit i had on earlier pretty much except i just changed my top to a long sleeve plain black bodysuit from Target because it you know got a little bit chillier out I am going to leave now and I'm gonna wrap up this vlog because tomorrow I'm planning on just staying home and doing absolutely nothing and then I'm gonna start a new weekly vlog on Monday because I have some exciting things going on next week so 
stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye.